Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at butting objects up against each other in Illustrator. But before we begin, I have more Illustrator training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes, including over 250 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer, and typically mine will be better. I also have Illustrator training at udemy.com and there's a referral link for each of these courses in the description below. Please feel free to share these with family, friends and co-workers. So let's swing back to Illustrator here and we're going to align these sets of objects so they butt up against each other. This was a question that was raised by a subscriber to my channel. I think it's a wonderful question so that's what we're going to do today. Now I've pre-prepared a series of objects so that we can see how Illustrator does that. To start off with, I'm going to select these objects and we'll go to the Align panel. Now if you don't see the Align panel here, you can always go to Window and then Align. You need to make sure that Show Options is clicked. So it should actually read Hide Options because that is your option if you've got options showing because you need this little box down here, Align To. We're going to click on that and right now we can't select Align To Key Object and that's going to be critical. So what we'll do is just come back in with all of these objects selected and just click on one, which will then become the key object. It's got a darker border around it that tells you that it's a key object. It really doesn't matter too much which one you select. This is the one that's not going to move, all the others will move. Once you've configured a key object, then you'll have a line to key object selected. So you want to make sure that that is selected. It also means that you can use these distribute spacing options. Now our objects here are all in a horizontal alignment. So I need to use horizontal distribute space. And if I want them all butted up against each other, then I'm going to use zero pixels here. So that means that there won't be any space between them. So I'll just click here. And the result is that each one of the squares is now butted up against the next one. So there's no space between them. Obviously, if you wanted a bit of space, you would include some value in that pixel area there. So let's have a look and see what happens when we've got a shape that's not a square and just make sure that the tips of these shapes are what are going to be the point at which they're butted up together. Again, select over them, select one of the objects to be the key object. Make sure that you have a line to key object selected. Set the value you want for the spacing. We don't want any spacing here, so we're using zero. And we'll click here on horizontal distribute space. And again, we're getting exactly what we want. Each of these objects is butted up against the other object next to it. Let's go and look at these. So what I've got here is a series of squares and these squares have got a stroke around them and the stroke is aligned to the center of the object. So let's select all of these objects and let's do the exact same thing because it's not going to work this time. So let's have a look. We need to align to key object. We need to make sure that we've got a key object. That's the key object here. You can see its selection is there. And let's click on horizontal distribute space. And here things are failing because what's happening is that this box here, let me just move it down so you can see it more clearly. You can see that these are overlapping. So they're not actually butted up against each other. So you may think to yourself, well, maybe that can't be done in Illustrator. Well, yes, it can be done. You just need to have the right setting. So let me just undo this and let's go back. And before we go and align these, let's have a look at an option in the align panel. From the flyout menu, there is an option here called Use Preview Bounds. Well, what that means is when you make an alignment, use the visible boundary of the object and not the actual object boundary as being the element that you're going to line up to. So I'm going to select Use Preview Bounds. Let's just go and select this shape here and have a quick look at it. The actual shape is this inside line here and the stroke is applied to the outside edge. So what was happening previously when we were doing the alignment was that everything was aligning to the actual object, which is this inside line. Now with Use Preview Bounds selected, so over here Use Preview Bounds is selected, What's going to happen is that Illustrator is going to use the outside of this object, the visible outside of the object for aligning things. So let me just put that back where it came from. 
let's select over everything, let's make a key object, let's align to key object and let's click here and all of a sudden the result is very, very different. Here, each of the boxes is lined up to the visible outside edge. So if you find that you have problems with aligning things that have strokes that are either centered or on the outside of the object, that's the solution to it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you've learned things about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. Thank you so much to the subscriber who asked the question. I think it's a wonderful question and I hope that you too have enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.